From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. Longest run of the year for Vandy. Now they swing it to the outside. Kalijah Lipscomb, a New Orleans native, is able to take it for a gain of six. He could not ask for a better start for Vanderbilt. Bresnahan yeah, on the field at the same time. And a pre-snap shift on third and two. Play clock almost ran out on him. Lipscomb open on the out route. It's a first down for Vanderbilt. Tracked by Derek Stingley Jr. That might be the first completion Stingley's allowed all season. And they took a page out of LSU's playbook. These tight splits create a lot of space on the outside. Lipscomb just attacks that leverage and has a lot of green grass on the outside. Good accurate throw by Riley Neal. And you're right, Stingley's a tough one. And remember... Four-man rush. Into the end zone, almost picked by Stingley. That'll be an interesting matchup all afternoon, Stingley and Lipscomb, if that's how it plays out. And Stingley almost got him back. This ball is just late. Riley Neal's got to let this go two or three steps earlier. A little late allowed Stingley to undercut the deep over route. If that's thrown earlier, that could be a touchdown because Kalijah Lipscomb had a step. Once we get to that point to measure LSU's wide receivers versus Alabama's wide receivers. Riley Neal delivers a strike to Kalijah Lipscomb. He makes Stingley miss, and he takes it to the 40-yard line. Vanderbilt trying to hang with firepower. It's a 35-yard play. And when we had Riley Neal week one, I don't think he stands in here and makes this type of throw because he has Kalijah Lipscomb. Great route, great leverage, and with guys in his face, Riley Neal delivered a strike there. When we had him week one, there was half. Third and three for Vanderbilt. Keyshawn Vaughn is the running back. Blitz up the middle. Out to the outside. It's a first down for Kalijah Lipscomb. He's out of New Orleans Jesuit. He's got a great tie in with him this year. And Jared Pinkney he had a great one at Jesuit. Foster Morrow, the former LSU tight end who's now in the NFL. Coming into this game, just one reception on third down after last year having an SEC best 27. Exact same play. They ran for a third down conversion on their first drive. Neal fires sideline. Broken up by Derek Stingley Jr. Week one, Stingley became the 10th true freshman to start the season opener on defense in LSU history. And he's just so talented. Locked in on man coverage. Gets his eyes around really early. So sees that back shoulder throw coming from a mile away. To be that young and have those kind of instincts this early, he's going to be special. And they're well hydrated. Second down, 10. Neal, end zone shot. Stingley with the coverage. Was that caught? Wow. Kalijah Lipscomb looked like he hauled it in, but may have been out of bounds. But what incredible concentration to haul that in through Stingley. I didn't think there was any way this ball was getting to Lipscomb's hands. And you know what? I think we got to take a look at that one. Well, it certainly wasn't controlled at the outset. And was he still in bounds when he came down? But I... Yeah, that's going to be the tough part. Yeah. yeah. By the time it hits his... Early on the field, it was an incomplete pass. The previous play is under review. I don't know, right knee and right elbow. That sh that angle shows us that's the side of the body that came down first. Probably. Or was it control? Exactly. And his arm is under it, but the nose of the ball does touch the turf as well. And I'm not sure he had enough control before that. Let's see here. Ball's ricocheting around. His right arm's going to come underneath it. By the time it hits his arm and then touches the ground. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Incomplete pass. It's third down. The scheme against. You, you can't pull one over on him. He sees every blitz, every pressure. Trying to find room on the outside. And LSU strings it out. It's a gain of two. And you know what we're learning? LSU. Uh, but it looked like an ugly, costly injury at the time. This is Cam Johnson. And Stingley can't bring him down. Trying to rip the ball out. 
And Johnson will turn it into another 15 yards on his way to a 25 yard gain. And that's just a young player trying to make a big play and, and you love the the instincts of Stingley to go after the ball here, but you got to wait till at least one other defender is there with you to help bring them down. That's when you can really start punching out that ball here. You got to do everything you can to get him out of bounds or bring him down first. Then when guys rally around, you can all go for the ball. Neil wants to tee one up. And he'll go deep. It is blocked and taken down by Stingley. Cole, watching the shoot, shoots. But energetic tone. And he has been yearning to have a healthy defense. Neal goes deep. It is intercepted. It's the freshman, Derek Stingley Jr. He is keeping alive a wonderful football family name. Well, it was bound to happen. He's been following around Kalijah Lipscomb nearly all day. Time and time again, they battled, and he's won. And eventually, you just knew that he was going to come down with the big play. He's that talented. And LSU with the ball back on offense yet again. Talk about how good is Derek Stingley Jr.? Uh, the answer is really good, Tom. He's been matched up against Kalijah Lipscomb, Bandy's best receiver all day, and he has made it really difficult on number 16, who's a good player. And you just knew at some point he was going to get both hands on one. Bunch of pass breakups, a couple good tackles, and brought one home. First interception of the year, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah.